We did it, kids. Pumpkins are where the money's at. Yeah, it is. Why can't I ever open my inventory? Oh, I love it. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I did that wrong. It doesn't go with the skirt. Well, it does kind of go with the skirt. Do I have yellow pants? No. But I could look ridiculous. <laughs> Do I have... Green pants? No. I have the pants I was already wearing. <laughs> No. No. I am disappointed, but not surprised. What kind of do I have a socks? No. I mean, wait, do I have yellow socks? No. I have green socks. What, is, what does that look like? <laughs> take, take off the pants. Nope. Why do I have a sweater on all of a sudden? What the heck? Take that off. Nope. <laughs> what? Okay, what? Oh. No. But... Okay, D let's different direction. <laughs> different direction. Let's take off the skirt. How do, how do I take off the skirt? Um, we've already decided I don't have. I. There we go. That's that's the way it's gonna be. I don't want those socks on. Please take those socks off. I need to get out from this garden. Do I have yellow boots? I have yellow high tops. I think the yellow high tops might be the answer in this case. Oh, I have these green boots. I didn't know I could do that. I've learned. I've learned something new. I think I prefer the green ones over the blue ones. Is it too much? Yes. Do I care? No. I'm gonna wear the green boots. Uh, let's put my normal glasses back on. I only had those gold ones on because of the, the skirt outfit, and we've moved past that. I want something that makes me look like a lion. And none of this does. I am constantly... Disappointed. I am constantly disappointed. All right, we need we need to move on. <laughs> Simba Simba is sad. We gotta go cheer up Simba. Yeah, we'll do that. I was gonna go bring Nala some gifts, but I probably can't. Can I give her gifts? What gifts does she want? Don't get distracted. We're gonna go see Simba. Mushroom pizza pottage and a blue passion lily. Well, we do have pretty much all of that. Stop spawning me right here. Let me spawn at the other place. Why do I always run the wrong direction? The green boots are worse in, in whenever I'm looking at it in this lighting. It's okay. I've I've settled on the green boots. We're gonna wear the green boots. Oh, you know how you look like a lion? I just remembered we have those stupid jackets. Where are they? Well, that just covers up the shirt, though. It's not what I want. It's not what I want. Hi. Hey, Kizzy. Nala told me that something was bothering you. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess it is. Everything that happened with the hyenas, well, it just brought back a lot of memories, and now I'm feeling a little lost. <laughs> My friend Rafiki likes to bop me on the head with his walking stick when I get like this, just to knock some sense into me. <sighs> I wish he were here to do that now. Want me to bop you over the head instead? <laughs> no, that's okay. It's kind of a me and Rafiki thing. But I appreciate you wanting to help. Ugh. I keep thinking about my father, Mufasa. Uh -huh. I'm pretty new at being king. There are so many decisions. So much is at stake. Mm. I wish my father were here to help me and give me advice. I'm sorry, Simba. He told uh -huh. me something once. Uh -huh. Something about... Hey, why don't I just show you? Follow me. I don't... Thanks. Okay. He lives in you, Simba. That was the whole lesson you had to learn. Look harder. Look harder. I think something like that, right? Oh, everything the light touches, Simba. Glad you're here. When I was young, my father told me that the great kings of the pa oh, we're doing that. Never mind. The great kings of the past looked down on us from the stars. I believe it. There's something magical about stars. When I look up at them, I know my father was right. <laughs> it's nice to think that those who came before are always up there guiding us. Huh. If I could just see them, I know what to do. Uh -huh. But I can't. Look, there are too many clouds. <sighs> I haven't been able to see the stars for a few nights now. Every time I look up at them, it's cloudy. Wait, how long has this been happening? <sighs> now that I think about it, I can't remember the last time I saw the stars. That's pretty weird. I wonder if something magical is going on. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, no worries. This might be a bit of... This might be a bit tough to explain. But I think I know somebody who might be able to help. I'll go talk to Merlin and see if he knows what might be going on. Do I have gloves on? Did I put a turtleneck on? How did that happen? What? What? I think I might be glitching a little bit. I'm like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, what if I just don't think about it? It just looks like a weird turtleneck, but I think I think my body is glitched. Is it possible to fix it? Okay, I'm not gonna think about it. Uh, do I, did it give me a spawn here? Yes, it did. I got distracted by the weird body. What is happening? It seems silly to restart the game over that, so I'm not going to. Um, however, I will just check to make sure I didn't accidentally put gloves on. I like how my options are gloves or nails. <laughs> what is happening? It's like I have lizard skin. Why do I have li I have scales? I don't remember what nails I was wearing, or what rings I was wearing before I changed everything. Not those, that is a lot of... That is a lot. I think I was wearing the dagger nails. How do I fix it? Don't want to derail too much, but I also don't want to look weird. It'll be okay. Candy cane staff, huh? Is it the shirt? Like, is the shirt glitching? Let me change my shirt. Oh, although I think I already tried to change my shirt and it didn't work. Hmm. So strange. It's okay. Uh, talk to Merlin. Well, hello? Hmm. I get the peculiar feeling that you've stumbled upon another magical mystery, Kizzy. <laughs> and considering where you've been, I surmise it involves lions. Well, uh, have I surmised correctly? 
<laughs> well done! You've added Surmiser to your resume. You could put it right between Wizard and Prognosticator. Well then, I suppose that means I got it right. Now tell me what exactly happened. Aha! Do tell me more. I passed through that door in the castle and found myself in a new realm, somewhere in a jungle. I met Simba there, but he won't come back to Dreamlight Valley unless I can help him see the stars. He wants to get some guidance from the great kings of the past. That shouldn't prove to be too difficult. There's almost nothing as constant as the stars. Simply wait for the night and then, well, look up. That's the problem. Simba can't even remember the last time he saw the stars. It's always cloudy. I think something strange is going on. Possibly something magical. Mm -hmm. That is a bit odd. But I suspect I know the explanation. <laughs> the realms that you visit are worlds the villagers created when they needed to escape Dreamlight Valley. Like slipping into a dream of some place you once knew long ago. Mm, the realms are tied to their indeed. memories and their feelings. Uh, oh. It's possible that the sky in Simba's realm is clouded precisely because his memories of his father are clouded with uncertainty. So how do I help him? Simba will need some magical aid and some help with his troubles. You'll have to start by creating some sort of object to channel the spell. Something that holds meaning to Simba. Hmm, but what kind of object would hold meaning for a lion? For a lion? Something from his past? Yes, precisely. Wait, I've got it. Simba mentions someone bopping him over the head with a walking stick to knock some sense into him. <laughs> that sounds like precisely what you'll need. Just the sight of it might be enough. Next, you'll need to infuse it with purified night shards. <laughs> Once you've done that, find the point in the jungle nearest the sky. Point the walking stick towards the clouds and command them to part. Be careful, though. This is dangerous magic. You'll be, you'll be influencing the very fabric of reality in the realm. It'll be worth it to help Simba. Well, hey, run along now. Okay. We're creating a walking stick. Excellent. Oh, my arms have changed color again. Something strange is going on indeed. Did you know books are the windows to the world? I wonder what the doors are. Probably doors. All right. Off. Ah. We did it, boys. We went the right way. So many places to despawn, but only one place to spawn. Hey there. I've got something to show you, Simba. Here. Oof. Huh? That looks just like Rafiki's walking stick. <laughs> You're not gonna bop me on the head with it, are you? Of course not. Or only if you want me to. That's okay. I'm not really looking for a headache today. Merlin told me that to cast this spell, I need to start by finding something to remind you of the past. Uh -huh. Well, that definitely works. Just looking at that thing makes me think of all the things Rafiki's told me. Then, I think it's time for the next part of the enchantment. Stand back. This is going to take a lot of dreamlight, a lot of dreamlight magic to cast. Merlin says it might be dangerous. I don't think we'll be able to try this twice if it goes wrong. See ya. Place Rafiki's walking stick on the stone mound. Alright, if I can find it. <laughs> if I know where the stone mound is. Stone... Oh. Well. I'm a goose. Hi. Kizzy, I think something's starting to happen. I feel the wind picking up.
Haha, <laughs> 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 it worked! The sky's clear. Look at all those stars. <laughs> You'll have to lend me that stick. It could really help to make sure the weather's sunny when we hunt gazelle. I don't think it works that way. And besides, all that magic really took it out of me. I wouldn't want to try that again. Well, thanks for doing it at all. Just looking at those stars, I already feel closer to the great kings of the past. Well, do they have any guidance for you? It's funny. Now that you mention it, I just remembered something my father used to tell me about being a good leader. He oh. said that good leaders leave their kingdom better than it was at the start of their reign. Sounds like your father was very wise. Leave the kingdom better. Hmm, how do we do that? We could clean up the dried oasis. Yeah. The one right outside the jungle? Ha! That's a great idea. And just the kind of thing my father meant. Why don't we go look at that oasis now and see how we can clean it up? Bye! Go ahead, Simba. You, you go. S Simba? Okay. We're, we're going. Hi! Look at this place. <sighs> I think it used to be a water hole for all the animals in the jungle. Uh. But it looks like it's been dried out for quite a while now. Hmm. It looks like it needs... Some water. Uh, yeah, if there used to be water here, there must be a way to bring it back. I'll try to figure uh, that part out. And maybe you could find some plants. Uh -huh. If there were plants here, that would bring back a lot of the smaller animals. And huh. they would bring back the bigger animals. <laughs> it's the circle of life. What sorts of plants should I get? Where could I find them? Hmm. You could check some of those jungle ferns near the river. Rafiki said plants come from seeds, so maybe you could get some seeds from those. Uh-huh. Oh, and there's a plant near one of the waterfalls that might have some, too. Ah. And there are the trees in the clearing where you found me. I bet those would have some seeds. But you ah. might need to do some digging to get them. Do you think your paws can do that? Who needs paws when you've got a royal shovel? That ought to do the trick. Thanks. All right. Jungle ferns. Boop, 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 boop. We run so much faster now. Or, I don't know if we move faster, but our body animates more. Glad you're here. You found seeds? That's great. Huh. Now we just need to plant them around the oasis. Sounds good. And with a few drops from my watering can, they'll grow in no time. Don't worry about watering them yet. If the plants are going to survive, we'll need to bring all the water back to the oasis. Huh. I think I've almost got that part figured out. Why don't you plant the seeds and then come find me? Bye! Well, I had a plan, and then, uh, and that plan didn't pan out, but it'll be okay. Where did I put the other hole? I lost it. Where? Where's the other hole? Oh no. Did I only dig two holes? Uh. 
Okay, I'll just stick a new one. I guess I forgot how to count for a second. I could have swore I dug three. Hi. It looks like you planted all the seeds, and I'm pretty sure I figured out how to bring the water back. There's a river that used to run through here. It fed the oasis and kept the plants alive. Oof. But the river's blocked. Looks like there was some kind of mudslide. Uh -huh. I've been trying to dig it out with my paws, but there's a giant rock blocking the flow of the water. Maybe if I could use my pickaxe to break it, we could get the water flowing again. Oh. You really think that could break that rock? That would be great. Thanks. The river? This rock? Hey there. Wow, it looks better already. And this is just the start. Once the animals come back, it'll look even nicer. This will help the whole jungle. Yeah, I guess that's what my father meant about leaving the kingdom better than when I started. Thanks, Kizzy. I feel like my father's looking down on us right now. Maybe I can be a king worthy of him. I didn't know him, but I bet you're right. Hey, since we've helped the kingdom, why don't you come with me to meet Nala? She's waiting for you in my kingdom, Dreamlight Valley. We could use someone there to teach me to be a good ruler. Oof. Teach you to be a good ruler? I'm still figuring that out myself. Mm -hmm. But I guess we could figure it out together. We've already got a place for you in the village. Nala's waiting there now. Ha <laughs> ha I'd love to go. Lead the way. Thanks. Oh gosh. Welcome Simba. This place really is all you said it was. Everything here is your kingdom? Not just my kingdom. We all share in it. That's a good perspective for a ruler to have. I think we're going to learn a lot from each other. I'm going to go find Nala. I can't wait for us to explore this place together. Simba, wait. There's one thing I have to warn you about. Watch out for Scar. Scar? He's here? But how? That can't be possible. After everything he did to my family. I'll keep Scar in line. Don't worry. So far, Scar seems too lazy to try anything. I've got him on a pretty short leash. That's good, but still. I think I'll keep clear of him. There are just a lot of bad memories. Thanks for warning me, Kizzy. I'm gonna go find Nala. Alright, so next we are going to... Apparently I can sprint. <gasps> oh my god. Goodness, what the heck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, Nala and Simba. Are gonna need gifts. So let's start that. Simba's playing with the Scarecrow. Hey, good to see you. Hey, I have something to give you. Take the Ratatouille. Great. Ha! Ha! Cute. Hi. 
Oh, no. Hey, Kizzy, I have an idea of what might be contributing to all the stuff going wrong in the valley. Do you have time to talk? I'm all right. <laughs> I'm all ears. Okay, I have this theory about the forgetting in the night thorns. I've noticed how lots of folks come to you with all kinds of problems. Everyone around here seems to have a lot of worries. Maybe if they could let go of some of those worries, it would help. You know, relax and get a new perspective. <laughs> My friends Timon and Pumbaa have a whole theory about not worrying too much. Akuna Matata. Yeah, worrying too much doesn't always help. Hmm. I'm glad you agree. Uh -huh. And you know what? I think we should start with you. I've noticed you seem to wear those coverings all the time since you don't have fur. But they don't look very comfortable. Maybe you could find some that are. Good idea. I could put together the most relaxing and casual outfit of all time. That would be a fun challenge. Huh. Well, I can't wait to see what you come up with. See ya. First Glad of all, Simba. Here. Wow, that does look comfortable, Kizzy. I'm wearing the same exact thing. Timon and Pumbaa would approve. Uh -huh. But I don't think comfort is everyone's problem. Some folks around here are just downright cranky. Maybe a change of scenery would help. What could make it more relaxing? Growing up in the jungle with Timon and Pumbaa helped me a lot. There was an oasis there where we could really relax. And relaxing is a lot easier when the place you live is peaceful. There was all this green, lush jungle and lots of places to just sit and enjoy the moment. What if the meadow could feel like that? Yes, I'll make it so relaxing you'll feel like you're back in the oasis. I'll start by putting down some seating and add to the landscape. Meeting someone like you gives me hope. Great. Hi. I was just trying to give you stuff. And then you wanted to insult my valley. Ha. Huh. A uh, ranch salad. Huh. Excellent. If I grew up here, I don't think I'd ever have wanted to run from my past. Well, before I start doing stuff with Nala, let's see what I can figure out about the seating in the in the peaceful meadow. Oh, you know what? I do have a new bench I want to try. This thing. I don't know where I would put it, though. For now, let's put it here. Simba, I don't think you're thinking this through right now. I can put this cute little wooden couch... Like over here, outside uh, Goofy's house for now. And then this plank seat we can put over here as if someone sits here to fish. How about that? We'll do that for now. Let's take a look at the landscaping. We'll add... Listen, there's just so much landscaping I want to get rid of. You're not really thinking this through. I will end up getting rid of a lot of it. Because I'm going to like rip it all up to um, when I redo the Peaceful Meadow as a whole. But I guess we can just put some stuff down for now. And just not think about it. Actually, I can put these reeds. And that'll be nice. Oh, a lot of the places already have reeds. How much was that? Great. Where's Simba? Hi! The meadow looks amazing now, Kizzy. It's really peaceful. <sighs> There's only one thing missing. Oof. Back at the oasis, whenever it got too hot, we could relax in the cool water. I tried it here in a few spots, but others complained that I was scaring the fish. I can always ask Mr. McDuck for a pool. It'd be a great it'd be great to have a place to swim. Hmm. You think so too? Great. Uh -huh. Can't wait to be able to cool off in the meadow. See Let me put a pool in the meadow. I have a pool. It's where am I going? It's it's right here. 
Talk to Scrooge McDuck. I have a pool. There's already it's already a pool, Simba. How about a wee bit of conversation? Ah, oh, another perfect day for business, Kizzy. And just what are we investing in today? Simba wants to make the valley a little more relaxing, and we're only missing a pool. Do you have anything like that in stock? As a matter of fact, I do. And I'm ready to make you a one-time offer. You can either order the relaxing oasis, or I can trade it to you for some gems. No need to decide right now. Take some time to think about it. Though according to my records, you have enough star coins to order it. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. So Pretty sure I have a, an oasis too, to be honest. Like, if I go into my furniture and I just look at it, I bet I could find at least one oasis in this thing. I bet I can. Because I feel like I've bought one recently, Scrooge. -a. I feel like I've already purchased one. Circular rocky pool. Look at this. Look, look. I could put this out. Not to mention. Not to mention. Wait a second. What's the name of this? What's that called? I'm gonna... Mr. McDuck, you and Simba both... It's a watering hole. You guys don't understand how good you have it. I think, I think that is where the problem lies. Anyway. I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm just gonna get the gems because I have plenty. Uh, shiny aquamarine, garnet peridot topaz. Also, why are you keeping track of my financial records? Well, you don't know. You don't know how much money I have. Those records are private. Take your gems. Hello. Well, you certainly are a smarty kizzy. Those gems are exactly what I needed for my own pool. It's always nice to have some gems in a coin pool for a bit of extra sparkle. Uh -huh. And here, as promised, your relaxing oasis. And thanks, Simba, for me, please. How big is this? Making the meadow a bit more inviting ought to bring in a few more tourists, and that'll help the economy of the whole village. Thank you kindly. How big is it, though? Oh, it's not that big. It doesn't really fit the aesthetic of the meadow, though. But that's fine. Is Simba still up there? He's around. Oh, wait till I tell Slink about this place. He's not going to believe me. I believe you. Any chance you could help me? Hi. Wow, Kizzy. The meadow looks great. Ha. Huh. And the whole valley feels more relaxing now. Uh-huh. I'm sure everyone will be a lot less worried about things soon. And then maybe the forgetting won't be such a problem. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go try out some of the changes you made around here for myself. See you around. Way to go! He has another quest, but we'll do Nala's next. Where is Nala? 